I'm here today because I've been falsely accused of a crime that I know that I didn't commit. Well, my daughter Cheyenne was around the age of three, maybe three and a half. She was being molested by a family member. When Cheyenne told them what was really going on and that a family member was molesting her, they wanted to protect that family member and put in Cheyenne's head that it was me doing it. I would never touch my daughter, but now my daughter wants to bring that out. My daughter looking for closure and, and everybody involved won't show up. They won't come to clear their name because they know they're guilty. I haven't seen my daughter in over 15 years. I couldn't be there then, but I'm here now. It hurts, you know, cause he didn't do anything to me. And I feel like I let it ride way too long. You know, I, I spoke and I spoke and I spoke and I spoke and nobody listened to me. And all I wanted was for somebody to listen, so for somebody to tell that man, you know, the truth. Like, you know, you didn't do nothing to your daughter and we know it. I had to come all the way out here and tell his family, my family and the whole world, that man did not touch me. He never did anything to me, ever. I thought I was in love with the relative that was assaulting me at the time. I was told that I was gonna get married to this person. We were gonna have a family. I thought it was normal for relatives to do what we were doing. And it took me growing up and getting away from my family to realize that is not okay. It started at the age of four. You know, they tell me, you were four, how could you remember that? How could you remember that? But you know, the trauma is so real for me. It, it sticks. I know what happened to me. I know when it started. I know how it started, you know. It went for seven years. And I told a family member at the age of 10 years old what was going on. And uh, they told me, like, you know, they're going to handle it. So I tell that person and they take my abuser for a ride and next thing I know, everything stopped. And you know, I'm looking at myself like, yo, what the did I do? Like, why, why you stop? You were confused that the abuser stopped the abuse? Yeah, I thought what we was doing was normal. Mm. It was okay. I thought it was okay, man. I'm so smart, I'm so intelligent. It's like, why didn't you figure it out? Why didn't you, why didn't you speak up sooner? Cause you were a kid, though. I understand the way you're feeling, but you were a child and somebody was abusing you. You're, you're a victim here. It's, none of this is your fault. You, you, I hope you realize that. It's taken me 21 years to realize that it ain't, man. And, you know, I'm here to own up today and, you know, let people know that man don't deserve to suffer for something he didn't do. The way it started was like, Questions, you know, it was just questions. Like when they first asked me, it's like, Dude, was it your dad? And I'm like, it's somebody else. It's not the person that's actually doing. Go with it, yo. Well, so somebody Coerced did kind of put in your head. I mean, yeah, it was put out there. When I first made the accusation, I was seven. So they oh, took me okay. to the hospital and they did the examination. It was very clear that my hymen was broken and I was sexually abused by somebody. I guess my abuser thought like. She already said it was her dad, I'm in the clear. So it just kept going, because at that point, I'm accustomed to it, I'm used to it, and I'm going along with it. I'm thinking, you know, like, like So we, after we you said that you, it was your dad, what happened to your dad? I remember signing some papers with some social workers, and I was told by a family member that that meant my dad could never come to South Carolina and see me again, and, and that was that. Daddy can't come home because of what I said. And you know, at the time, I was so wrapped up in that other person, like I didn't even care. I'm like, whatever. So when you confided to family members that it was actually this person, was anything done, any authorities called? No, no, not at all. I have to see this person at family events. I have to see this person a lot in my family, because you know, it's a close family member, so. How hard is that for you? It's excruciating because, you know, I don't want to be, you know, a negative burden on the events and stuff. You know, I don't want to cause drama and stuff. So, you know, I just, you know, I try to let them hug me, but, you know, deep down, I just want to scream. Like, I just want to ask him so many questions, and it's like, I know he's never going to tell me. 
I know he's never gonna have the balls to look at me and, and be real. Has that person ever apologized to you? No. Has that person ever acknowledged what they did to you? No, he makes me feel so crazy because when you ask him, he looks like an innocent child. Like, he just couldn't do it. Like, everybody tells me he's so sweet. He couldn't possibly do that to you. So now, your dad is here today. When is the last time you saw your father? Last time I saw my daddy, I, I want to say I was four, yeah. I just remember we had matching shoes and stuff. We would have, like, Jordans on, and they, they were red and white. And, like, we had this red and white outfit, and we would just rock it together, like, I know deep down that that was my best friend, and you know I lost my best friend because of this. He's here to clear his name. You're here to clear his name. But the people that made these accusations against him, nobody else wanted to show up. No. Cowards. So you haven't seen your dad in 15 years. He's going to come out right now. What are you feeling? Yeah, I'm ready to see that man, man. That's my boy. Been waiting all week for you, man. <laughs> all right, well, let's bring your father. Leroy out. <laughs> so big. Happy birthday, baby. <laughs> this is only my baby, and I'm, I'm so glad we got this platform, man. You don't know how hard platform. it is to let a man touch me or kiss on me or do anything. Don't. What was exactly told to you? Because this had to blindside you, right? Yeah, it did. What happened was, People was telling Sha, your father did this to you, your father did this to you. So my understanding is that I was the, the escape goat, which is real foul. They threw me under the bus. You don't even know how many nights I, I know sat who the up person and is. That and I wanted to go live with stuff. my daddy. I wanted my daddy. All I ever called for was my daddy. And they told me, your daddy raped you. Why you want to be with him? And I told him, like, I just, I don't believe it all the time. I don't think he did. I don't know. You were never arrested, right? No, because I was in a whole nother state, but, but I was told, like, if you come back... They you were going to get you. Oh, uh, it was going to be a problem. This is not your fault. This is a child, you know? And I always knew that. I never blamed you. Leroy, you came here, you took a lie detector test. And we asked you, have you ever sexually molested your daughter, Cheyenne, for your own sexual gratification? You answered no. The result of your lie detector test is that you told the truth. Of course. You know, I know but... <laughs> I'm not crazy, man. I ain't crazy. I ain't imagine that <laughs> <laughs> You was a child. Crazy, you was man. a baby. No, I beat myself up every night, man. Is it true? Did you do it? Is it true? It's a possibility. What is it, man? What is it? But I ain't crazy, man. I'm not crazy. It took a long time. It took a long time. It took a long time. Uh, Shane, you took a lie detector test. Am I? And we asked you, did your father, Leroy, ever sexually molest you? You answered no. Were you coached to say Leroy sexually molested you? You answered no. Did that relative in question sexually abuse you as a child? You answered yes. The results of those three questions, the results came back all the same. And it came back that Cheyenne told the truth. Mm -hmm. I told you. I told you I'm not lying. I told you he did it. This is not over. My story don't end right here on this stage. No, it don't. You got a baby out there, man. You got a child, and I'm not gonna let that child get touched like me. Eight years, seven to eight years, man, you touched me every night. You took everything from me. Ooh, I ain't the only this. one, man. Y'all know that I wasn't the only family member. Y'all all sick. That whole family sick. And that other family member that got hurt, y'all need to get him some help, too. That's real. Y'all need help. Y'all caught him in the act. Y'all knew better. We're going to see the family. My whole, the whole side of my family never seen her. Beautiful. So I don't call everybody like Cheyenne coming through, Cheyenne coming. They, they all waiting right now.